everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mike's World. Today we're going to talk about fixing flat tires again. I've already done one video where I used these traditional plugs and I show you how to rear out the tire, how to use these plugs to plug your tire using a kit like this. I'll show you this is the one I normally keep in my truck. Works great, not going to be a problem, but there's something new on the market and it's called these. These are little rubber screws. They And basically what you do is you pull the nail or, or screw out of your tire and you just screw this back in. Pretty simple, uh, no glue, no mess, and that's pretty much how you fix the tire. So today I'm outside my garage. My wife's car has a nail or something in it. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to use one of these for the first time and we're going to see how it works and see if it stops the leak in her tire. And if it doesn't work, then I'll go back to the old tried true tested method and fix it that way. But this is the first time I've never used these before. It's my very first time. So we're gonna check it out. Got these off Amazon. You can pick them up too. Link in the description if you wanna pick these up. And let's see how it works. So the first thing I wanna do really quickly is I wanna uh, inflate the tire to 40 PSI. Normally it'd be 35, but you wanna over inflate a little bit. You're gonna lose a little bit of air when you pull that screw or nail out. So I'm just gonna get this up to 40 and then we're gonna find the, the nail, uh, show you how to test for that and then we're going to fix this using the screw and hopefully it holds. So once we have it aired up, we're just going to take a bottle of soapy water. So hot, just any kind of a bottle, dish soap, water, and you want to mix that up pretty good and you're going to spray your tire to find your leak. Now I already see the screw in here, so I'm going to spray that real quick. And you can slightly see that it's bubbling. And that's what you're looking for. Any kind of bubbling means you have an air leak. So what I need to do now is I'm going to pull that screw out and then I'm going to replace it with this little rubber, uh, this little rubber screw that should seal it up. So let's get this thing pulled out and I got to do all this pretty quickly. And sometimes getting in here, getting a hold of the screw can be difficult. And so looking at it, it looks like a pretty small screw. So let's get that. And I want to compare that to the one, I, the one I'm ready to put in there. So that looks like that might fit. So let's pull the, get this pulled out. And that, that is a screw, so it usually it helps to unscrew it out of there. Not always easy. All right, I'm gonna have to go get my channel locks. So we're just gonna pull this out of here. Hear it leaking. Take this. Just gonna screw it in that hole. And get it in there. Nice and flush. see it's in there so it's like replacing one screw with another and then what I want to do is I'm just gonna spray it and you can see that no leaks so it's holding for now all right so there you go guys you saw me use it I fixed my wife's uh, front tire that was leaking in just a few minutes actually it's holding it's not leaking air um, so these things appear to be working now we got to determine long term if they're going to hold so time will tell with this I'll probably have to check it in a couple days spray it again just see if it's leaking or not but I'll tell you what that process a heck of a lot easier than using the old plugs that I used to use so I'm sold on it for now 
we'll see if it works long term but hey if you guys want to pick these up if you want to keep these in your glove box all you need to keep is like a pair of needle nose pliers and a screwdriver to screw it in and if you're on the road boy you have that plus a portable air air compressor like i have here which you can also get on amazon i'll put a link in the description keep those in your car you can fix a flat really quickly at least until it can get you to a, a tire shop to do a more permanent fix hey guys i hope you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed like the video leave a comment and tell me what you think love to hear what you guys have to say you guys take care i'll see you next time